Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening from wherever it is around the world that you're joining us here today. Welcome to another of the Icarus Signals uh, Indicator Tutorial Guide videos. Um, thank you again for joining us and uh, welcome today to a review of the Icarus Signals Reversals Indicator. I'm going to pull up our uh, demo uh, chart here, which we've already got preloaded a range of different um, a range of different charts which we'll run through. Now today we're actually going to run through this um, uh, reversals indicator uh, strategy page or outline. Uh, we're going to run two separate um, indicators which are identical in respect of their overall operation, although we're offering firstly the reversals free indicator. Now that as the name suggests is 100% uh, free for anyone to use and download uh, as it's currently built. Uh, and at the same time, because the one is based off the other, we're then also going to run through the Icarus Reversals uh, full suite version, which has a full customizability and optimization of all of the different settings, which we'll run through with everyone today. Uh, so without further ado, we'll start off looking at the Reversals free indicator. Um, and in general, how the, uh, or how the indicator itself that applies to a range of different markets. So you'll see here, uh, as is common, we start off with uh, some of the more common uh, instruments on our uh, Think Forex uh, demo platform. Uh, again, remember all of the Icarus indicators have been built for both MT4 and also Ninja Trader 8, allowing users to uh, apply those to uh, both the common currency pairs and uh, CFDs offered by most of the um, large and reputable brokers. Uh, we often uh, will highlight both uh, Action Trader or now Axie, uh, and also uh, Think Forex as two that we've used in the past. Uh, and then we'd also suggest people have a little bit of a look at uh, the Ninja Trader uh, offering as well. They've got a very, very yeah, solid suite of, um, of different products, a very different platform to the um, uh, to the uh, MT4 uh, offering, which commonly does provide access to equity-based instruments, often CFDs. Uh, although, again, we're not making any recommendations as to uh, what people should or shouldn't be trading. And I would expect that uh, users of the Icarus Signals product suite are fairly well-versed with some of the different trading uh, concepts and ideas, and indeed, of course, the risks involved in, um, in trading any financial instrument. And these tools are really designed to give people the very best possible edge in developing their own trading, trading style or trading strategies so they can get the very most out of their, uh, their trading experience, regardless of which platforms are being used. Uh, for, the, or for the purposes of these particular videos, we'll focus on the application of this code on the MT4 platform, probably one of the, if not the mo most robust platform uh, available around the world and probably one of the longest standing. Um, which is something that uh, obviously via the MQL5 uh, community is very, very well supported. So we encourage people to uh, jump onto the Icarus Signals uh, MQL5 community page and um, have a look at some of the content there. And that's where you can obviously access all of the uh, Icarus Signals indicators uh, and later down the track some of the EAs, uh, both for free trials and then different uh, lease and full lifetime license subscriptions as well. Uh, but without further ado, as I mentioned before, let's get into the indicators as they stand here on the screen. Now, for the purpose of this particular video, we've got uh, the Icarus Signals Bolly Band Change Display Indicator included in this chart as well. Now, for those of you who have seen that uh, tutorial video, you'll understand the operation of that. Uh, for those that haven't, we'll get a little bit of an understanding of that uh, in this video for both the Icarus free and the Icarus full suite version uh, of the reversals indicator. Although we'd encourage everyone to jump onto the uh, the platform and have a look at the, the video for the uh, Bolly Band Change display, um, because that's going to tie into both this and also to the continuations uh, indicator, uh, which is another video tutorial video which is available for everyone to have a look at. Um, at the uh, at the, the platform or the template. We'll close down these to give ourselves a full screen. And we can then see it in a little bit more action. Now we've got the pound US dollar on the one hour time frame. And what we're looking at here are these particular areas. So we've got our short signals highlighted by the uh, purple or magenta uh, arrows. And then these box or what we call bands, which correlate with the appearance of each of these. In this case, this section here is a, a suite of short signals. And then you'll see the green versions are identified uh, as long signals. Now, some of you might be wondering, for those who haven't seen the Bolly Band Change Display, what that uh, is doing there. We're going to now open up the 
uh, indicators list. Now we've got here the Icarus reversal indicator, and what we'll do, we also, as you'll see, the Icarus body band change display. But to start with the free version, which is what uh, obviously many people be, be yeah, interested in learning more about, uh, is we will go and drop on the Icarus reversals free, and we'll notice that it appears very similar to what we have uh, already shown, but we'll put on the free version and we'll then take off the uh, locked, um, put on the free version and, and take off the full suite version. But at the same time, we'll run through some of these parameters which we can see here. Now, we've got it set to a signal valid bars of two, arrow display offset of 1.9, and then signal band display bars of zero. Now, what we'll do is we're going to put this in at 15. Now that's basically going to draw these boxes for 15 bars long. Uh, and just so we can then populate something, and we'll run through the operation of all of these different settings here, which are available in the full suite uh, version. Um, and we'll then just work a little bit on how this indicator actually works and how it generates its signal. So we're going to OK that and have it drop the signals on. Now we'll open up the indicator list there again. And we've got the uh, Icarus Reversals full suite here. We're going to delete this one off and we'll pop it back on again in a moment. So we can see here now that we've got very few signals showing up with the bands, although we're just seeing these little arrows and indicators here, which you can notice produce some very good indicators of turning points within price. We can see them popping up here at almost each of the inflection points as we go back in time. So you can see here there's a short signal, that one there failed. There may be a shorter one down here below, but that will be getting filtered out for a reason which we'll outline very shortly. We can then see these short signals appearing here before we then have them move off, but you'll be wondering why the bands aren't showing up. I'm gonna uh, open that up now in the settings and we're going to put this in here. Signal valid bars are one, and then signal band display bars are 15. And there we go. So what we'll see here is when the reversals indicator appears, which is importantly generated by uh, the reversal of price after a uh, particularly strong trend in one particular direction away from uh, one of the moving averages which can be selected. Now, in this case, as we said before, uh, we have the indicator set to a particular group of parameters. We're going to refresh this and regenerate that there. So we get today's date, uh, which is, I'm going to scroll back here for everyone who's watching, we've got the 1st of October. Uh, and we completely have a signal here which has shown up, uh, which we'll work our way through. So as we can see here, price moves up away from our control value, which is set by the uh, by the moving average, which in this case is an exponential moving average with a period of 30. And we'll see that here when we open up the properties of the Icarus reversals free indicator. And we can see here, underneath this locked in free version, this is the range of parameters which op users can optimize and customize to suit their individual per, uh, trading style, investing style, and the instruments that they're trading and the timeframes that they're trading, uh, which allows the charts or the indicator to populate other charts uh, for a range or an infinite amount of environments. Uh, we've included this slope intensity period of 30, and this is the value of, in this case, the EMA, which you'll see here uh, at the 30 period, with its slope intensity threshold locked at 0.16. Now, that's basically the sensitivity of the appearance of these indicators when it is set to the 30 EMA. What we've got here, we've got signal ballot bars one. So that's basically saying that we're going to accept one signal here as they appear after the extension of price beyond what we would regard as a, I suppose, a safe or a normal level. Um, we're then going to uh, uh, have the arrow display offset this value here is basically just the height that it appears above. So we can have them stretched all the way up to the top, all the way down, set at 1.9. For the sake of seeing how it works, we'll change it to 1.2. That's just going to drop it down a little bit lower. You can see it's appeared here now. We will open up this again and we'll edit the all important signal bar band displays. Now, this value is 
an amount above and be below the arrow or the, uh, the, the bar or the candle which has generated the signal. So once the Icarus reversals indicator has generated a signal, has picked up on the chart point of high probability of a reversal from its current trend, we want to have some form of additional confirmation that indeed price will continue um, in the direction that the reversals indicator is suggesting. The appearance of the arrow is in fact only the very first part of getting a valid signal. Now, this is the way that the Icarus Signals team has built a number of different EAs and strategies, and um, it's the backbone and really the starting point for a number of uh, reversals-based strategies. But really what's critical is this signal band display bars. This is both duration, so this setting here will give us an amount of bars that it will print, which is currently set at 15, which we'll leave there now. And it's actually generated by this signal band offset ATRs, which is set at 1.5, which means that from the appearance of this particular uh, signal, and we'll go through some of them on the chart here, from the appearance of this particular signal, we want to see, so using this one here as an example, we'll zoom in. We have here this particular point. This is the bar. We're going to extend 1.5 times its average true range or average trading range to the upside and to the downside. And for in this instance, for the short, we want to see within 15 bars. So we'll be getting close there now, I would assume. We're up to, well, 15 bars. There we are. So this is the end of this particular signal. And we haven't seen a close below the bottom of this band. You'll notice that in pips or in points, that this is around about 103. This has been generated because the previous range of bars preceding the signal have been relatively large. And as we zoom out, we'll go and find some other examples. Where this one here, for example, might be a little bit less. And that's about 89. So in times of low volatility, we want to give price a little bit of an easier chance to clear the bottom threshold uh, before we then have a confirming signal. Now, we can see here that we would have, depending on the, the structure of your strategy, We'll zoom in again to see a little bit more closely. We would have entered, for example, here, or if we're, depending on our strategy as a trade below or a close below, we typically go for a close below, would enter here, and then we then move off down to you know, north of sort of uh, 200 or so pips, depending on your strategy, which we often, as a starting point, might suggest that you put it at the top of the ATR band. So we enter here, we get some chop all the way through, and then we then continue off down. Uh, to, no, oh, well, it goes considerably lower, of course. Um, and then you might then have a range of different uh, considerations as to how you enter or exit your particular trades. But we'll zoom back in time and we'll have a look at some of the different uh, uh, different uh, trades. In this case, we'll have a look at a, a long trade. Now, again, same rules apply here. We'll shrink this down. We've got ourselves a, uh, an appearance of an indicator. This is our reversal indicator. We've pulled away from price a little bit too extremely. Um, and then we have a signal which says, suggests that price is likely to um, reverse uh, once it clears the top of this ATR band, which we found this particular value um, seems to be something that works quite well over a range of different instruments. There are certain instruments which work a little bit um, with a little bit uh, looser or a little bit tighter guidelines. Also, that's very, very true for a different time frame. Shorter time frames and longer time frames lend themselves to different values here of this ATR band uh, offset. So we've got 1.5 set, that's, a, that's the, the standard uh, inclusion for the Icarus free indicator that you'll be able to uh, apply to your charts if you drop that in there. Um, and for the sake of the exercise, what we'll do is we'll change this to say 35. And it's basically going to give the indicator a chance to clear a particular price th threshold for 35 bars. Now, some strategies, 35 bars works quite well. We'll run through some of the results of the different Icarus strategies that we built over time that have both longer and shorter periods. Uh, but you can see here, these two have merged in effect. Um, but using the entry signal, we would have, for example, entered this particular trade here and then would have traded as high as another 100 pips north. And again, we have the same thing at this particular point here, where we then enter the trade, we set our stops down below the bottom band as a simple guide, um, and then we'll have a range of different uh, trade signals for us to, to work on. Now, this is a short trade here, for example, which will have uh, entered, entered us into a particular trade, and it would have been uh, unsuccessful for it to continue on. Now, by the end of this ATR band, we haven't gone too far, but again, 
then it hasn't worked to our favor with these particular settings. Although when we go and drop the full version on, you'll find that the filtering that we include cleans up a lot of this, um, a lot of this, uh, I suppose, noise or um, invalid signals in that regard. Another way to consider the reversals indicator is what we call a reversal failure. Now, these occur quite commonly in strong trends. And when we start to drop in the Icarus reversals full uh, full suite version, we'll notice that it's actually a very, very strong uh, determinant of the continuation of a trend. An example of that might be here, for example. Probably not the best example because we have some chop here to the other side and it's already run quite a long way beforehand. So we'll find a few here. Here's another good one. Uh, and we'll just zoom in this way. So we'll see, for example, there's, there's two here. Uh, one, we've got our reversal indicator, and so we'd be waiting for a close below this uh, band for us to start entering a trade, depending on what our individual trade rules are. This hasn't occurred, but we have then closed above the upper band, which in essence would be, according to a range of the different Icarus signals uh, strategy, would be what, what we call a reversal failure. And depending on a range of other parameters, including the Bolly band change display settings, we would look at taking a long trade uh, upon the clearance of this upper band. And we can then see price then carries on fairly you know, fairly quickly. Now, another you know, fairly strongly uh, identifying uh, tool um, or presence on a lot of these uh, charts with this indicator is that this 1.5 value typically seems to be a really solid midpoint for where you're a little bit higher, a little bit lower works quite well. And again, depending on the strategies that you're building, you can set those to what you see fit. But you'll find that price comes down and trades through the 1.5 lower band uh, in the case of a short, and then re rejects that and then comes back further, negating what would have been uh, a losing trade, and then even suggesting that a longer trade, uh, a long trade or an inverse trade the other way. We can see here again, uh, we've got some price action with very, very uh, suggestive long moves here. We, again, we clear it here, and we then would have a reason to exit our particular trade or at least put our uh, break even or stop losses, tighten those up with the appearance of an inverse trade, which again would have triggered at this particular point and traded down and we then manage our trade depending on our ind individual rules. So you can see here that it's actually a very, very effective tool in many means. Here's another one that works quite well. We trade on down. Uh, the reversals indicator, again, you'll see here with this 1.5 value. Now we haven't modified anything at all while we're looking at this particular, this particular chart, of course. You'll see how price gets very, very close to clearing these particular points, and it rejects off almost to the pip without closing below, and then proves to us that at this particular point, it's a failed entry. Uh, we here have a confirmed entry, as you can see, closes below after having tried a number of times. It gets a little bit more uh, energy behind it. Um, confirms that lower and then trades down. Where again, we put, uh, for example, possibly our break evens in, uh, or indeed our uh, stop losses adjusted. And we can see here, we've then got an inverse signal, which will tell us that there's a probability that price may reverse back up to the range from which it came. And again, we see price come up here. In fact, the break even would have been just missed by probably a fraction of a pip, depending on what your spreads are. So you would have been protected there quite well. And again, uh, as we were referring to before, the failure of this particular signal means that it's less likely for the trade to continue up in this instance long. And as we see here, it then continues its move back down after the failed long signal. So you'll see as we sort of scoot across fairly quickly, going back in time is always a little bit more difficult, but it gives us a, a fairly good view of what, we, what we're looking at. We can see another successful entry here and it's trades down sort of more than 200 pips. Again, another example here, and it would have been if we extended out time again here, um, where we draw our uh, support and resistance around these particular points. And you can see, in fact, these values actually correlate quite well to a number of other areas as well. So here we would have been kept safe. If we extend out the, the length of the ATR bands, we would have been kept safe. Um, when we have price trending a little bit uh, further strongly, in this case north, we get kept safe here, get kept safe here, and again, have entries that uh, give us some fairly good entries from this particular point uh, onwards and upwards. So now that's the, the pound one hour. We'll just go out to the daily. And again, remember that we have the, uh, the, the same settings here applied to different timeframes. Uh, and again, we can see 
how these apply quite nicely in a range of different uh, environments. So again, we have a break here. We have our stop loss set in this particular instance quite high, but we're again working on the daily on the daily time frame, um, and we then trade back down considerably lower. Um, we have one here that's uh, failed a little bit, but has worked quite well here. So there's a range of different configurations. We can even pop it out to the uh, to the weekly. We can see here that the weekly has protected us beautifully here, and again the long wouldn't have been taken because it hasn't cleared. The shorter ranges here have made the, the range of these ATR bands much smaller. In this case, we've got about uh, 880 pips, and in this case, we've got uh, sort of north of 1400. So it's very dynamic in that regard. The, uh, the signals will appear relative to the current market conditions, which allows it to be a little bit intelligent in that regard uh, and give us opportunities that are more likely to succeed. But we'll see here on the weekly, uh, we have closed here below the ATR band, uh, the lower ATR band. Again, we've been kept protected here, and we then trade off down south the north of sort of 1,200 pips or thereabouts. Um, and again, we'll have an entry here which does close quite a bit lower, uh, down about sort of eight or 900 pips, um, with a uh, inverse signal here, which will give us the chance to start adjusting some of our uh, some of our positions. We'll scroll back to the 15 minute just to show how the free indicator. Remember, this one doesn't cost a thing. You can jump on board and um, just download that to provide your email address and we'll sign you up to the newsletter and get, get you a copy of the um, of the uh, Icarus free reversals indicator. Uh, and we haven't changed any parameters whatsoever for any of these. Um, and you'll see how it works really quite well without doing any optimization or customization of what, uh, what it is we're trading or what time frames or any of the other parameters. So we'll see, again, we'll see a very successful uh, entry, a very strong entry there. Another one here where although it hasn't gone uh, a huge direction, we'll find that uh, depending on the rules, we might very well have set our stops there and that might have uh, might have cost us some, but it hasn't gone back against us uh, rapidly. Uh, again, we've got our, our long trades here, uh, which has got sort of 40 or 50 pips. Uh, this is another one which might have just given us a little bit of wriggle room to be able to uh, put our stops in and we'll work our way through here. We can see how they pick up the turning points of the charts uh, very, very well. Again, some protection here. A longer trade here, we would have exited uh, or adjusted some of our stops on the inverse signal. Now, obviously, this, as we mentioned earlier, is very well suited to uh, a range of different instruments. But what we'll do is we'll quickly scoot across because we know that a lot of the, um, the MT4 brokers now offer uh, equity CFDs and the indicators depending on the program that you're using, are uh, uh, usable on uh, MT4 charts, although they haven't yet been written for MT5. So if your broker requires uh, MT5 uh, execution for equities, yeah, there's a mismatch there. But the, in, the Ninja Trader 8 platform uh, has the full suite of uh, Icarus indicators applicable to all instruments, futures, uh, commodities, uh, equities, ETFs, and of course, the currency. So anything that you can put into the, um, into the NT8, pardon me, the NT8 uh, platform will be usable. But we've populated here the Apple, um, uh, the Apple Daily uh, chart, and we've dropped on the uh, Icarus free and the Icarus uh, reversals indicators. So what we'll do is we will just delete the paid version first and we'll just check the settings here. So we've got 15 bars again, one bar valid, uh, 1.9 of the error off its display. We'll change it to 1.2 to match the others. And again, we've got these locked features here, which we find to be, I wouldn't say optimized, but certainly very, very good across a very broad range of this 30 EMA and uh, 0.16 or 16 point threshold. So we'll drop that in there. And here we can see how in something as strongly trending as Apple, we get some really good signals, um, particularly for the long side, which again, with these very strong uh, strong trends, this is a, a buy the dip indicator, uh, which helps us to pick the bottoms in some recent sell-offs, um, which we can see here from what's effectively 67. Remembering all of those keen observers will know that there was a split recently. There's been a number of splits for Apple, um, which then saw us before we have any other signal at all, basically into this at 67 and then continued up to today's price of sort of 115 uninterrupted. Um, we've got here, for example, um, a close below. Now, so we'll see that with Apple, um, again, being a very strongly trending stock, 
Uh, we've got ourselves a situation on the short side. And again, keep in mind that uh, shorting something like Apple is uh, a very, very tricky exercise at best. So if we think about the reversals indicator being something that will help us identify bottoms in um, or, or short-term lows in very strongly trending stocks, um, this is probably a good example. So again, we've got a, uh, a, a entry here above the um, Icarus Signals ATR band, which would, depending on our trade rules, again, of course, we, um, we encourage all of the Icarus Signals uh, users to build strategies that best suit their trading style, their investment style and preferences. But let's say, for example, using a very simple cursory rule, we want to uh, either exit a trade or possibly remove our stops or uh, or adjust the, the risk on a particular trade at the appearance of an inverse signal, uh, we would have a long entry here and then the inverse signal would be this particular point and uh, we would have gone for 47 to say for example 52. So we'll zoom out here a little bit and we'll see if there's any more examples where again we've got a, a long trade here which has been triggered during a fairly strong downtrend. Now we would have been kept safe we haven't cleared any of these ATR bands. Unlike here, where prices had a chance to consolidate, we've cleared above and off we've gone. Um, clearing out the noise of unsuccessful signals is obviously just as important as uh, being able to pick up uh, successful signals. Again, we'll see that this 1.5 value of the ATR band works very well in both protecting us uh, and also um, giving us a little bit of indication of where some of the key support and resistance lines are. We'll see here again, keeping in mind that shorting something like Apple is always a, a terribly difficult exercise. Uh, but again, there always does remain opportunities if we've got the right up, the right to indicators and uh, trading strategy. We would have seen an entry here with a close below, and we would have got very close, depending on our rules, uh, with a close above or thereabouts. And we would then trade down to the inverse signal here. Again, we enter in a long trade here, uh, and we would have seen a trade north up to, or depending on where we would have got out, but you know, considerably higher. Um, we'll again have a look at some of these. There's another example here of closing below and then trading down, although it be very, very small, uh, down to the inverse signal. So you be careful where these, this data runs out because, again, MT4 is a little bit limited in that regard. Uh, again, we've got a short entry here down to the inverse signal from 26 to 22 or 23 dollars and um, again another short entry here which will have come down to the inverse signal of sort of 28 to 20 you know, 27 somewhere thereabouts so again depending on how we build our strategies um, we can really build some fairly strong um, I suppose preconditions depending on how we'd like to be able to uh, to build a particular trade again we're protected from the um, an erroneous shall we say short entry here whereas this one over here has been evidently then successful after the event. We can see here again another example, a short trade trading down to the next inverse signal. Um, this is another successful short trade, depending on where you would have exited, again, depending on your own rules. But again, we have a long trade just prior, just in this particular point, up to the appearance of the short trade, if indeed that's how you wanted to build your rules. Um, protected again here from something that would have been a fairly vicious downtrend. Um, so that gives us a little bit of idea. And again, keeping in mind, this is the free version of the indicator. Now, what we'll do for the sake of the exercise is we'll quickly uh, open up. In fact, what we'll do is we'll, we'll open up the, uh, we're going to include, pardon me, the full version. And we'll just then have a little bit of a look at what difference that makes. Now, here we have all of these different parameters that we saw that were unlocked. So we'll now get to how changing some of these allows us to better optimize and customize the use of the reversals indicator uh, when we've got the full suite version open. So we're gonna leave this EMA here at, um, uh, at 34, and we're going to then change this to 0.16. In fact, what we'll do is we'll put it in, if it will load it up as one of our previous templates. We've got that set there previously, there we are. So we've got 34 and 12 as an example there. Those are our settings that for that particular instance that works quite well. Um, although what I think we might do is we're going to uh, check the, we're going to check our reversals free indicators, which as we've said before, are 30 and 0.16. Now we've got the Bollinger Band contraction required as true. This is something very important to remember as we go through and start dropping in the full version onto these particular charts. 
Now, those of you who have watched the continuation um, indicator, the Icarus uh, Signals continuation indicator tutorial, you would have um, seen that the Bolly Band Change Display is a very effective filter for filtering out uh, uh, trades that appear or signals that appear in what we might regard as an incorrect um, a market environment. So we've got 30 and 6, and remember that this particular free indicator is already automatically filtering out the Bolly Band Change Display rules, which we'll get to uh, when we load up our, our next, uh, or we load up the, the reversals full suite uh, indicator. So we're going to insert here our full suite, and we're going to change this to 30. And we'll change this to 0.16. We're going to keep it at one consecutive signal. We're going to keep the slope intensity type, our, um, our anchor point, so to speak, as the EMA. We'll change this, for example, to 180 because we've got our Bollinger Band or Bolly Band change display as set to exactly that, which we'll drop on the chart in a minute. Now, remember, we've got our contraction required being set to true. A signal valid bars is two. We'll change that back to one. And signal band display bars, remember, we want to have that set at, for example, we'll make it uh, 25. Now, the offset here is set at 1. Now, we're going to make that 1.5 to match our uh, free version. And we'll then start to see what happens when we apply this to the chart. So you'll see that we have a little bit of overlap there between some of these different, uh, some of these different indicators. Now, we've got both of them operating at the same time, reversals free, and then the full reversal suite. But what we'll do to give us a little bit of an understanding is we're now going to remove the reversals free, keeping in mind that we're basically now displaying exactly the same uh, configuration uh, for each of those. And we're going to work on all of the full suite of inputs available for the uh, full reversals, um, the open suite or, or full suite um, indicator. So we'll, we'll delete this out. We're going to edit this. And then most importantly, we're going to take off the Bolly Band Change Display. We're going to set that to false. Now, what that means is we're going to see a lot more of these indicators show up on the charts, which depending on the models that we're using to build our strategies, gives us a much greater range of trading opportunities depending on how we build our strategies. So as we'll see here, we get a lot more of these instances, as I mentioned earlier, where we have a failed entry, which being a reversal failure, then gives us the impetus to take a trade in the opposite direction, which in this case is you know, just very, very basically give us an entry at 58 or thereabouts and, and all the way north of uh, $75 for that particular instance. Now we'll zoom out again so we get a little bit of a clearer picture. Now we've seen we've been protected from any potential short, short signals here. We have a short signal here, which was picked up beautifully and then traded down. All of these have been erroneous signals, which we would have then looked at taking a reversal failure entry. And it's been a very, very strong price trend all the way up until we've seen price close below this band. And keep in mind with volatility being as high as it has been and the ranges being so high, that this band now here alone, the ATR band itself is in the order of... What have we got there? That's uh, 12 or 19 $20 almost. Whereas you can see the range of these is much, much smaller. So $10, even smaller again. So $6. So you can see the strength of this move down. The next few weeks will be very, very telling. Um, we have price now starting to appear below the lower band. So whether or not Apple can continue on its march upwards um, and any of the other equities too is a, a story uh, soon to be seen. But getting back to our Bolly Band change display, we're going to add this into the chart so we can see exactly what's happening with this filter. Now we're going to add the Bolly Band change display. We can see the default values are 10 to expansion look back, uh, expansion percent. We won't go into too much of the details here um, because we encourage everyone to just go and have a look at the Bolly Band Change Display uh, video, the tutorial, give you the full, uh, full rundown of exactly how it works and how it applies to some of the different uh, indicators working in conjunction with it. We're going to load up some of the different two configurations that we have put in before, oh, which don't seem to be there. So what we'll do is we'll go and change these now. So we're going to put them in 180 to match. And then we're going to say display the background colouring, which is true. 
So here we can see the body band change display is going to give us areas of um, expansion of the Bollinger Band, or the Bolly Band, and then contraction of the band. And the magic of the Icarus uh, indicator, Icarus reversal indicator, means that when we apply these particular rules for the reversals onto the Bolly Bands, it will only appear in times of contraction. Now, in this particular instance, that means that we would not have taken this particular trade here because it won't have appeared. So when we look at uh, this particular instance here, we're going to turn off the uh, body band change display filter, which will mean that this here will not appear as a signal because the reversals are not allowed to appear at a period in which price is expanding as dictated by the, uh, by the body band change display. So we'll just go and edit that. We're going to change this to true. So this is basically saying contraction is required. So it's true that contraction is required of the body band change display for the signal to be valid. And we can see there that they will only appear where these bands are in a state of contraction, which obviously with it being a reversal indicator, now it leads us to get or gives us a little bit more confidence that the price is compressing and any strong trends are more likely to have uh, petered out, therefore giving us a little bit more confidence that the reversal of the trend uh, is something that it can be a little bit more relied upon. So you can see here, there'll be a little bit of crossover. We'll only have them when they're just inside the conversion from expanding to contracting. And again, all of these parameters are fully customizable. So now remember also too, the Icarus Reversal and the Icarus Reversal Free have this Bolly Band code already built into it. So you don't need to purchase or lease the Bolly Band Change Display uh, Indicator for it to work with either the Reversal or Reversal Free or the Continuation Indicator. So we've built that code into it, but if you'd like to be able to, to see and view the, uh, the benefit of the Bolly Band Change Display, expansion, contraction, um, or in some instances, which we'll uh, quickly run through here, if we go and put in, say, 2% expansion, it will then print for us areas of neither expansion nor contraction, which are these blank areas here. So again, depending on your particular strategy, that's something that you might want to have a little bit of a look at. Um, again, we've dropped this onto the Apple Daily Chart. The same rules apply for our, um, our currencies here, which is in this case the one hour. We will open up the indicators list. We've got this here. And again, it's set to a 100 period locked. And if we then go and take this one off, this is set to the 100 period locked as well. So these two uh, are now matching. Um, we can then go and insert, for example, the full version of the Icarus Reversals Indicator. We'll load it up as the setting that we've got. And again, I think we've got that set to 180. We have so many different pieces of code, it's a little bit hard to keep track sometimes. Um, and that will then help us do the same thing. It'll then allow us to pick up trades in all different environments. And we're going to have that set to contraction required as false. Therefore, it will show up in any particular location. If we only want to filter out the trades that appear in, a, in an environment where price is compressing and, and unlikely to be in a strong trend, which is what we want to avoid with the reversals uh, indicator, if we're trading the reversals rather than the reversal failures, we can go and have that setting. You'll see that they only appear in these particular environments. So again, failures here, failures. So there's, another, there's a successful one there that would have, uh, would have given us a little bit of grief. But again, we can see long here, long here, and then long here again. Off we go in this particular case for, oh, up to we have the uh, sort of three or four hundred, four hundred, five hundred points there. So that gives everyone a little bit of an idea of the, the value of the, uh, the uh, reversals free and the reversals full suite indicator. We've applied that, of course, to the Apple Daily, um, just to give us an idea of it being applied to a range of different instruments. We've got a daily a very strongly trending uh, equity, one of the world's most famous names, and it applies equally well to something as uh, different or non-correlated as the British pound and the one hour. Um, 
What we'll do is we'll just very quickly have a look at some of the different strategies that we've built, some of the different back tests that we've run. Um, in this case, just for the currencies, we do have a range of back tests that have been done across equities with their partner proprietary Icarus trading systems, which um, we build for ourselves. So we'll just run through the um, the uh, our trading outcomes, the back testing outcomes, and these are running live on a range of uh, Icarus Signals automated trading strategies and have been for the last couple of months. There's been an extensive amount of back testing done for all of these, and so we'll have a quick look at this particular uh, set of results. Now, again, keep in mind um, that these aren't suggestive of future results, and these are the result of uh, significant amounts of work in applying these particular indicators with a very, very, um, you know, very, very tightly set or very, very well researched set of entry, exit, and trade management parameters. So um, it's always, always very important that people know that the, this is not something you can just simply plug into your MT4 and expect to make a lot of money. Uh, if that was the case, we certainly wouldn't um, uh, be here recording videos for everyone, unless, of course, we were doing it from our penthouse in New York, for example. Um, but again, this is some of the results that can be achieved using these uh, reversal indicators with the Bolly Band change display filters and a range of other trade management and risk management tools. Now, this, for example, is the euro. We're using the one hour time frame um, and we're using every tick, which gives us this 90% accuracy rate, which is really what we want to see when we're doing back testing on MT4. Uh, the Ninja Trade A platform has a wonderful basket testing and back testing tool, which you can use for both. Um, equities and also uh, foreign exchange products, in fact, all instruments that are on there, um, and it can produce very similar results. Here we can see a very strongly trending, uh, you know, fairly safe equity curve. This is on the one hour time frame. Um, now, as we scroll across just a little bit at the results, this particular strategy here since 2008, so sort of you know, 12 years or so, has given us about 1,500 trades, which are very, very good sample size, profit factor of 1.4. Um, and it's just on the euro. Now, remember, whenever we're building strategies, and people can do this as they see fit, of course, we never like to build a strategy, test it on one currency, uh, and then run that as a live piece of code, a live trade, because it doesn't give us very much content or very much confidence in the robustness of the code. So we always want to run the same code on either a range of different instruments and have at least two um, that using precisely the same settings over precisely the same time uh, produce a positive equity curve so we can then combine those um, into something that can be a little bit more reliable uh, moving forward. This here again is precisely the same um, uh, settings as the euro. This here is the pound, same periods. Again, a little, um, little bit lazy in these first few years, but still positive. And then it really kicks up nicely in the latter half. And when we combine these two, we see that we've got a very strong move in the euro at the front end and it slows down a little bit at the back end, but we've got a little bit slow at the front end, but very, very uh, healthy at the back end here for the uh, for the pound. So this again, 90% uh, modeling quality, which is fairly reliable. Um, as reliable as it can be on, uh, on MT4, 1,268 trades over that period and a profit factor of 1.3. So again, that's um, something um, that we'd be happy to rely upon and then trade live. Um, within our uh, systems or strategy suites. Now, keep in mind too that these particular strategies uh, also have uh, a range of other ICRA signals uh, indicators built within them. In fact, these particular, these particular results here actually use the ICRA signals auto support and resistance um, uh, lines as some of the different uh, managing elements. So we can, and this is what we can see here. This is one of the other different Icarus oscillators, but we're going to scroll through here until we can see. And this is another example here of our auto support and resistance lines, which we have another video for. This is them uh, here. We've got three different time zones and these particular strategies, which you can uh, learn a little bit more about, uh, a little bit, little bit more about the auto support and resistance um, uh, indicator. Are what's actually built into these particular automated strategies. And we use those auto support and resistance lines to give us areas of trade management. So you know, clearance through particular levels or resistance against particular levels helps us to manage those reversal signals, uh, those reversal indicators appearing within particular uh, body band to change display uh, environments. Keep in mind too, with these particular settings, uh, we would have seen 
uh, with the previous examples that we were using. But here's our um, our Icarus Auto Support and Resistance uh, indicator. So doing a very, very good job here on the Euro one hour. And we'll just go back to where we were before. But the for the sake of the exercise, those strategies back tests that you saw before have an ATR band of uh, more than uh, 3.2, which means just for the sake of the uh, uh, of the exercise, what we'll do is we will increase that value. And you can see just how large that is. And in this particular instance, if the trades don't uh, go through that 3.2 threshold, then they won't take an entry. So you can see price really needs to be very confident uh, of it getting through that particular level before it starts to take any trades at all. Um, and you can see just what sort of difference that makes uh, when we look at some of these here. Um, and it just gives you a little bit of understanding as to how we can optimize the use of these particular indicators to build strategies that are as robust as possible and that suit our individual trading style. So we'll just zoom back out again. We'll go and apply the template that we've got there. Um, in fact, we'll just change change this back to what it was earlier. Change it back to 1.5. And we'll close that down there. So I hope that's been of use to everyone. Um, we've run through the Icarus reversals and the Icarus reversals free. Um, by all means, the, the free version's been uh, been produced so that people can get a little bit of understanding as to the value of that particular signal on a range of different instruments. So please, we'd love for you to give us uh, some feedback as to how you found it, to leave us a review, uh, give us the thumbs up on the video and get onto the MQL5 community or indeed the marketplace on the IcarusSignals.com website when that's uh, launched in the next couple of weeks. Um, let us know what you think and um, if you feel that you can then get some benefit from the full suite version, which we've found to be a very, very useful tool, particularly in uh, combination with some of the others, uh, we'd love to have you on as part of the, uh, the Icarus um, customer base and we look forward to answering any questions you might have uh, about how the system works and how you can benefit from the use of it uh, within your different trading investment styles. So uh, feel free to go and uh, watch some of the remaining videos, which include uh, a range of different uh, Icarus signals indicators, uh, including the auto support and resistance, uh, the Icarus oscillator, the Icarus oscillator levels, and a range of others. Uh, and we hope to see you uh, in the trading community soon and all the best for the future. Thanks very much. <laughs>